It's June of 1976. Here are the football headlines. The GLC, the Greater London Council, is considering taking over cash-strapped Chelsea Football Club. Pat Jennings is awarded an MBE. Duncan McKenzie signs for Anderlecht. Terry Venables takes over at Crystal Palace. And it's the Battle of Ninian Park. All the details and more coming right up. Thomas charging through the midfield. Thomas, it's up for grabs now. Thomas, right at the end. It's June 1976. Here is all the football news as it happened. On June the 10th, UEFA bans Wales until 1982 from entering the European Championships. The suspension is imposed in consequence of crowd trouble during the quarterfinal against Yugoslavia, known as the Battle of Ninian Park. The Welsh FA decide they will appeal against this decision. On the 11th, John Ireland, the Wolves chairman for 12 years, has been removed from the post at the end of a power struggle over the sacking of manager Bill McGarry. June the 12th, and Pat Jennings of Tottenham Hotspur and Northern Ireland and Arthur Griffiths of Wrexham and Wales are awarded MBEs in the Queen's Birthday Honours list. June 16th, Terry Venables has become manager of Crystal Palace, replacing Malcolm Allison. Danny Blanchflower, the 51-year-old ex-international, is the new part-time manager of Northern Ireland. Blanche Flower says he intends to organise training matches against English club sides. Bit of transfer news on June 17th. John Beck joins Coventry City from Queen's Park Rangers for the sum of £40,000. June 19, Sammy Chung is now the new manager of Wolverhampton Wanderers. He has been Bill McGarry's assistant not only at Wolverhampton but also with other clubs. June 22, Vic Hallam of Sunderland joins Oldham Athletic for a £25,000 fee. And Dennis Howell writes letters of appreciation to West Ham and Liverpool concerning their fans' commendable behaviour in their European Cup matches on the continent. June 23rd. Chelsea Football Club's future is in grave danger due to the club's precarious financial position. The board calls in a firm of accountants to assess the situation and a meeting of creditors is scheduled for next week. A Greater London Council leader, Tony Banks, says that the GLC should rescue Chelsea and, if necessary, they should take over the club. Also, Terry Neal has resigned from his job as Tottenham Hotspur manager. June 24, Duncan McKenzie has signed for Anderlecht of Belgium. Leeds collect £200,000 and the player is assured of a lucrative two-year contract plus a signing-on fee. June 28th, Sir Harold Thompson is the new chairman of the Football Association. After his election, he urges clubs to play more attacking football to bring back the crowds. He says the trouble is that our clubs cannot afford to lose matches. I understand their problem, but we must make an effort. I may have a few ideas about improving the game, but I'm not ready to talk yet. And on June 29th, Bill McGarry signs a two-year contract for Saudi Arabia. He will be their national team coach and will look after the squad at Coventry, where they will have a pre-season stay with the First Division club. Also, Ray Clark of Mansfield Town signs for Sparta Rotterdam. The fee is reported to be £50,000. This is the first deal arranged by Peter Morris, Mansfield's new player manager. Those are the football headlines from June of 1976.